I grew up in the mid-Atlantic states in Virginia. We had really cold, wet, kind of nasty winters. But one of the surest ways we would know that spring had actually finally arrived was when we would hear the buzzing of the bees. They like that warm weather. They're not so crazy about the cold. There's lots and lots of insects out there. Scientists estimate almost 300,000 species. So how do you know which of those species are actually a bee? Well, first of all, let's talk a little bit about how you know something is an insect. One of the most distinguishing characteristics of insects is their body. Their body usually has three parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Now the shape of these body parts and the length of these body parts can vary tremendously and that's actually one of the ways that you're able to identify what kind of insect you're actually looking at. Bees, first of all, tend to be covered in hair. Well, why would that be? Well, you may know about bees and flowers and their relationship. You see, bees are important for carrying pollen from one flower to the next. That's how flowers get fertilized, or pollinated, we call it. When a bee lands on a flower to drink some nectar, that's what bees feed on, the pollen's going to stick to their body. And then they'll fly to another flower, and some of that pollen will fall off as they're feeding on the next flower. And that's how pollination, fertilization of the flowers, actually occurs. Well, in order for that pollen to stick to a bee, the bee's got to be covered in hair. And the feathers, the, the hair on a bee, actually looks a little bit like a feather. It tends to branch out creates that much more opportunity for pollen to stick to it. One of the other things that's true about bees is that if you look at the front of their thorax, where it's near their head, they kind of almost look like linebackers, like they've got great big shoulder pads. They have this really thick collar-like part that's on the front of their abdomen. So that's another way that you can tell you're probably looking at a bee. Now, bees themselves exist in a lot of different species. They vary in shape and size. Think about your bumblebees, big and round and furry as opposed to some of your digging bees, which are a little bit uh, leaner for getting under the ground. But the best way to tell what you're looking at is to look at the body shape and then the coloring on the thorax and the abdomen. If you go to a field guide to identify, they're going to refer you to some of these body parts. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is Identifying Bees.